I'm going to be talking to Jack Gibbons, the former Toronto uh, Hydro Commissioner and now Chair of the Ontario Clean Air Alliance, about comments made by Ontario Energy Minister Todd Smith about phasing out uh, natural gas for generating electricity in Ontario. So welcome to the interview, Jack. And thank you. Glad to be here. Now, there's a, a very odd situation in Ontario where uh, a lot of electricity is generated by natural gas. So uh, municipalities are worried about rising uh, greenhouse gas emissions. Uh, soon, uh, there will be a, 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 a three uh, nuclear plants will be offline, one retired, uh, two down for refurbishment. So it looks like gas will play a bigger role. And yet with falling costs of uh, renewables, wind and solar, the Ontario government shows almost no interest in renewables. That sounds like an odd situation. Well, it is very odd and it, and it certainly makes no economic sense because wind and solar are now our lowest cost sources of new electricity supply. And also Ontario is so lucky to be located right next door to the province of Quebec, which is the, the fourth largest producer of water power in the world. And Quebec has a large surplus of, of low cost electricity, which they would like to, to export to Ontario. So we've got uh, tremendous opportunities to, to move to a renewable future and to lower our electricity bills. But unfortunately, uh, Premier Doug Ford is ideologically opposed to renewable energy, and he loves fossil gas and, and he loves high cost nuclear. And, and so he's really out of step about with what uh, is in the best interest of Ontario. And he's pursuing an agenda that will increase our greenhouse gas uh, uh, pollution when we should be reducing it. Now, Minister Smith made some comments to the Independent Electricity System Operator Stakeholder Advisory Committee that seemed a little out of step. Uh, he said that a gas phase out would paralyze efforts to electrify our economy. Uh, what do you make of that? Well, it's just totally false. It, it, it makes no sense. You know, uh, Minister Smith is suggesting that he wants to get us onto electric cars and he wants to get our, uh, get our homes off fossil gas and onto uh, uh, heat pumps. Uh, but at the same time, he's pr uh, proposing uh, to, uh, to increase the, uh, the, the greenhouse gas pollution from our electricity system by 500% uh, or more by, by 2040. So, you know, if we want to uh, electrify our economy, uh, to reduce greenhouse gas pollution, the last thing we should be doing is ramping up our, our gas-fired electricity generation. So it, it's, it's just bad faith. Uh, unfortunately, the, the government of Ontario uh, is not committed to, uh, uh, to meeting our climate targets. Now, you mentioned um, Quebec Hydro uh, being, uh, you know, having surplus uh, low cost hydropower. And I've interviewed a number of uh, experts, uh, Jack, and uh, I think there's general agreement that uh, hydro has a tremendous value acting as, as almost like a battery, uh, acting as storage for intermittent renewals and uh, renewables. And it seems like there's a, you know, a, just a sensible marriage here between the hydropower capacity in Quebec and Ontario's ability to install wind and solar. And the two of them, if they were linked with more interties and if there was a, a market mecha mechanism in place, that, that just seems like a natural and yet it doesn't, uh, the Ford government doesn't even want to discuss it, never mind entertain it. Well, absolutely. We all know that the wind doesn't always blow and the sun doesn't always shine. So wind and solar do need a backup or storage option. And the absolutely lowest cost, uh, a storage option for, for wind and solar is Hydro-Quebec's giant reservoirs. And we should be pursuing it. Uh, uh, the Premier of Quebec and Hydro-Quebec uh, want to be the battery for Ontario's wind, uh, wind and solar, uh, but, uh, uh, but but Premier Ford's just not, not pursuing it. And it, you know, it reflects the fact that uh, the two biggest power companies uh, in, in Ontario are Ontario Power Generation and Bruce Power. They supply uh, more than 80% of our electricity. 
And the last thing they want is, is competition from wind and solar and, and competition from Hydro-Quebec. And so that's, that's the problem. We've got these very powerful vested interests, two very large electric uh, utilities in Ontario that, that don't want the government of Ontario to pursue the cleanest and lowest cost options to keep our lights on. I had the opportunity to uh, interview the uh, OPG's uh, vice president of nuclear development. And it seems to me like that utility is pretty much committed to the development of small modular nuclear reactors. But the earliest that the, the first one could come online, assuming that they can actually get it designed and built, is 2028, but more than likely probably 20, after 2030. And, it's, it, and it seems like the uh, government as well is betting on SMRs, but that seems like an odd bet, uh, or it seems like a, a roll of the dice, if you will, uh, given that we don't, there have been no SMRs built in the world. We don't know if the technology will work and we don't know at what price it will produce electricity. Well, well that's absolutely right. Uh, but but we do know that the price of, of, of power from a, a new uh, nuclear reactor will be very high. Even the nuclear industry has admitted that. They say the cost of electricity would be 16.3 cents a kilowatt hour, which is more than double, more than double the cost of new wind or, or solar. So it makes absolutely no sense to be to, to be per pursuing uh, this project. Uh, but Doug Ford wants to build a new nuclear reactor in the GTA, and that will just mean higher electricity rates. You know, Doug Ford got elected in 2018 on a promise to reduce our electricity bills by, by 12%, but he hasn't kept his promise. Rates continue to rise. And if we um, start building new, very high-cost nuclear reactors, then our rates are going are gonna to go up. And again, as you point out, these technologies are just, are, are just PowerPoint ideas. Uh, they haven't actually been developed, the technology. The technology has not been approved for use in Canada by the Canadian Nuclear um, Safety Commission. So this is a, a project that, that makes no sense to pursue. A and the people of, uh, of Ontario don't want uh, Ontario to be building new nuclear reactors before uh, we've got a solution for the, the toxic radioactive waste that they will produce that will last for hundreds of thousands of years. Oh, Jack, final question. Uh, what is uh, your organization doing to promote the, well, to oppose the greater use of natural gas and I suppose uh, more nuclear uh, and, and, and promoting uh, wind and solar and, and storage and, and you know, a, a, a relationship with, uh, with Quebec Hydro? Uh, what, what is your organization doing? Well, we're doing everything we can to get the message out to the public and to, uh, to our political leaders uh, that we should be phasing out the gas-fired power plants to get out the message that a new nuclear reactor is high cost and, and high risk and to get the message out that if, if instead, if we invest in energy efficiency, if we invest in wind and solar, and if we buy low cost water power from Quebec, we can phase out the gas-fired power plants by 2030 and also lower our electricity bills. And that's what the people of Ontario want. So we, we need to get that message out so that they will put pressure on, on Premier Ford to change course. Jack, thank you very much. Really appreciate your insights. Thank you. My pleasure.